So good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Federico, and uh, yeah, apparently I'm the president of the Game Weapons Association. Uh, so I get the honor of giving the opening speech of Game Weapons, which is really super scary and interesting. So when you create a game, uh, I think you make a gift for the people who will play it. And play uh, is an interesting word. I'm studying it a lot. It carries a great power. Because we, when we play, we perform in a ritual space or on a stage, if you want, and we represent our ideas. Play is something that opens a channel with other people for emotion to flow. So you, as the game creator, you can prepare a stage for people to carry the show on. And on the game stage, people can experiment and try things and emotions in a safe space. The show may be scripted, improvised, but it has always the same function, to let emotion flow inside a ritual. And that's what I call to play. On the other hand, when you create a game, you also put yourself on the stage. So that's why the moment when you release it in the opening is so scary and terrifying, because you're letting inside the world a part of yourself, and everyone can see it. So, and you know what's behind it, uh, what kind of hard work you put in it, uh, but not, you don't know how people will perceive it. So I think that still putting yourself on stage is the best thing that you can do, by far the best thing. This kind of scare makes you grow. It makes you a better person, whatever the outcome is. Uh, and at some point, you just well, look behind you in the backstage, and it, the backstage is funny, because behind the scene, it's always a horrible mess, you know. It's complete chaos. Um, yeah, uh, the game in the backstage just reveals itself of what it is. It, it's like a goofy machine that kind of works, but you don't really know why. I talked with some developers uh, a few months ago, and they were like, this part of the game is really cool, but we don't know right now, we don't know anymore how the code works, because we just did that. And that's it, the game is like that. A lot of like complex stuff going on in the backstage that you can't really see. And, uh, and if you take this event, it's kind of the same. You know, a lot of people love this event, and thank you for that. That's really amazing and super humbling every time. Uh, but behind the scene, I can guarantee you, it's always a horrible mess. It's, it's incredibly chaotic. Um, but yeah, uh, games are just like that, and, and that's not really important. Important is what people see, uh, and you have, in, in some ways, I think you have to learn how to love that mess, because it's it what makes your game great. And in the end, I promise everything will be all right. And also, what I learned this year, uh, it was like a life-changing year for me, um, is that also life is your stage. And, you know, society gives you a script, uh, but when you are a sta on stage, you have power. You have the power of express yourself, uh, of bending rules, breaking walls. Uh, you have the spotlight. It's the time for you to shine. You, on stage, can challenge the, the established power. Uh, because power hates your self-expression. Because power hates breaking rules. Because it kind of change the status quo and change everything. But it's by changing that we can grow. So may your games be like that. May your games be little lovely safe spaces where people can express themselves and challenge scripts that have been set from someone else. That's worth fighting for, I think. So this year, Game Happens on stage. Stage of life and games, if you want the stage of history. Welcome, have fun. Make new friends, get inspired. This place is yours, and you help defining it in the end. So let's write this new script together. So uh, it's time for thanking uh, someone. Uh, first of all, I want to thank our funding partners, Genova Liguria Film Commission and Società per Cornigliano, because they've always believed in us. And uh, thanks to them, we are in such a beautiful space. And I will take photos later, because I want to impress friends. You know, thank also to 34 Big Things and Mixed Pack Games for being your, our kind supporters. 
they uh, are making really awesome games, uh, and you want to check them out. They are really great. Also, thanks to ETT and HyperX, they have been our technical partners, uh, and they provided everything we needed for the showcase area, so it's really important, because we have many, many cool games in the showcase area today and tomorrow. Of course, thanks to our Marvel speakers to be, for being a part of it, to uh, all our volunteers for working really hard and showing such a commitment to this event, and to all of you for believing in this project and for being here to start your summer with games, which is kind of cool. So thank you very much, and uh, I will just leave, give it a big round uh, of applause to Enrico D'Amolo and to Andrea Rocco, uh, President and Director of uh, Società per Conigliano and Genova Liguria Film Commission. They are really, really awesome, uh, and they give us the possibility to do all this. So thank you so much. Yes, maybe it's easier. My name is Enrico D'Amolo, I'm the director of Società per Cornigliano, which is the owner of this wonderful place, but more than that uh, is the company, the public company dealing with the regeneration of Cornigliano, this uh, district of Genoa, which suffered during decades uh, uh, for the steel factory. Now things have changed a lot, and this is uh, the demonstration. I mean, the fact that in this building there are more than 50 small enterprises, uh, some of which deal with uh, video gaming and uh, in general with creative industries, is the, 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 the best evidence of that. Uh, we believe strongly in Game Happens. This is the fourth edition, and uh, we hope that there will be more, more uh, many more editions because. Uh, we are trying to uh, uh, have a makeover of this place, of this neighbor. Uh, and we strongly rely on uh, uh, creative industries and video gaming is certainly part of this. Uh, the event is very well organized and uh, I see year after year that uh, things are improving. So congratulations to the organizers. And uh, we really are very happy of that. Uh, in this place, we don't, not only we support uh, uh, creative industries, but we try also to uh, have a, a sort of cultural uh, hub uh, for this district where there are no cinemas, no theaters, uh, no museums. And uh, during the summer, as you can see, there is a stage in the garden. During the summer, we organize concerts, uh, theater, and uh, shows, etc. Uh, why we are doing that? Because we believe that the regeneration of a neighborhood not only is based upon physical interventions, but also about cultural and uh, 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 social uh, regeneration. And certainly, uh, this is a strong point. So have a, a nice conference, uh, uh, enjoy yourself because we are talking about games and uh, so congratulations again to the organizers and uh, thank you very much. Uh, hi everybody, benvenuti. Uh, my name is Andrea Rocco, I'm the head of the uh, the director of the Genova Liguria Film Commission. Uh, we, as uh, Mr. Damolo said, we are based here in this, uh, in this villa and in the, in the building next, uh, next door, at the Video Porto. Uh, and we, do, we are a film commission, so we do all the work of a film commission, of the traditional work of the film commission, which is to try to attract investment uh, and, uh, and uh, shooting and productions to the, to, the, to the Ligurian territory, to the region. But also, since uh, almost since the beginning, we have uh, uh, um, widened our our scope uh, of, of of action, and we have uh, s set up uh, a, a cluster of uh, of uh, creative industries here. 
Uh, why? Because, uh, and I, in that, I think we are uh, uh, a, an example that doesn't exist, a, a, a situation that doesn't exist in Italy, uh, in, in, film, in, the, in the world of Italian film commissions. We did that because we feel strongly that uh, uh, attracting productions uh, to the territory is not enough, and, uh, and uh, when uh, uh, and th th there is the need to kind of create a strong and self-sustaining creative industry in, in this region. Uh, we have now, we started with nine uh, small companies. We have now about uh, 60 companies and uh, professionals. We have more or less, it's very fluctuating, but I think we have more or less uh, about 120 people that are working in this area, in this building, and in the other building. Uh, we offer very flexible uh, uh, accommodation to these companies, meaning that we offer services, we offer uh, spaces that range from about uh, 100 euros per month up. Um, so there are still some spaces, so if you think of uh, setting up your own company or you need some space uh, to work that is not your basement or you, you want some, something more, uh, let's say, structured. Uh, here is, uh, is, is good. Uh, it's good especially be because of the people that are here. You will have a, 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 in, an interaction with people that sometimes they do your, the same job as you do, but sometimes they do different things. We have photographers, we have uh, video makers, we have uh, people uh, that, uh, jur web journalists, uh, I mean, everything. Uh, so sometimes it's very, I think, in the crea creative process, it's very good to, to meet people and to talk to people that are doing totally different things. And from that, maybe chance uh, meeting, something real good can, can happen. So if you need more information, I'm, I'm, uh, I'll be around here for, for these two days. And again, also I have to th thank uh, uh, Marina, Federico, and all the staff and the volunteers of this uh, of Game Happens because we have seen it growing over the years, and uh, I think it's it's a wonderful event, one of, of the best events that uh, that we have here in in, in this field. Thank you. Have a have a good day.